The city of Scottsdale is paying the price for a costly mistake. The city is agreeing to pay $200,000 after police mistakenly arrested a woman for a hit and run nearly three years ago. Team 12's Michael Doudna is here now with the story. You have the right to remain silent. That's Yessi Garcia getting arrested for a crime she didn't commit. It's, it's messed up. <laughs> See, it all happened on May 24th, 2020. A security camera captures a man smashing Yessi's windshield. Later, when she came out of a bar, she called over nearby police officers who then started to interrogate her about a nearby hit and run. He got hit. Your car is involved. We just left hi-fi. It didn't register that they were thinking I could be a suspect or I was the one that did this. In fact, no matter what she or her friends said, police officers simply refused to believe that Yessie's car was not involved in this accident. This vehicle just hit a person. This vehicle did not just hit a person. So after looking for clues, police claimed to see shards of glass on Yessie's shirt. Yeah. So they put her in handcuffs and book her for DUI, failure to stop at the scene of an accident and possession of drug paraphernalia. Yessie was totally innocent in this case. Ben Taylor is Yessie's attorney. They would file a lawsuit against the city for this wrongful arrest. And then finally, on Tuesday, unanimous, thank you very much. Scottsdale settled with her for $200,000, paying out and allowing Yessie to move on. Just like a big sigh. Like, <sighs> Michael Doudna, 12 News. Michael, thanks. Tonight